The fight to keep convicted killers behind bars. A new bill named after a murdered Calusa County teen would repeal legislation that gives juvenile offenders a second chance. We had to sit there and watch his stone cold face recount his glory day of brutally murdering my brother. Eric's bill would revoke parts of a law passed two years ago that allows parole hearings for minors sentenced to life without parole. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Adrian Moore. And I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13 Sharon Roger is here with more on this proposal. Sharon? Yeah, Tony and Adrian, Eric's law is in honor of Eric and Gambretston, who was brutally murdered in 1997 by someone Eric thought was his best friend. They were just teenagers at the time. This case has struck at the heart of Calusa County. And for Eric's family, the possibility of parole for its killer is not only unjust, but cruel. Eric was beaten and stabbed to death. His body dumped in a Calusa County field at the age of 16. Nathan Ramazzini was convicted of first degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. But Ramazzini, now 38, will be eligible for parole because of legislation that was passed a couple years ago that essentially says that anyone that was sentenced as a juvenile under the age of 18 and after 25 years of serving time will get early parole. Eric's law is set to change that. Having to endure our na nightmare repeatedly only serves to victimize and re-traumatize us. We are left questioning when and how we are ever supposed to heal. We believe in rehabilitation. We believe in second chances where they're warranted. But we also believe in justice, and there needs to be justice for Eric. Now, Ramazzini's parole hearing would be in July 2021 if this law stays the way it is. But again, Eric's law introduced today is set to change that. And also, again, it's been 20 years since Eric was killed, and the town of Calusa and this family are still trying to heal. So lawmakers hope Eric's law will bring justice and not open those same old wounds.